Hey, beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. I know it's been a minute, but here I am back with another video for you, back with another teaching for you. So in times before, maybe about two or three years ago, God had me break down the spirit of envy and the spirit of greed. But today, he wants me to go a little bit more in depth and also to give you a word. So greed and envy... <clears throat> pardon me greed and envy s seeks to slay stay away from lovers family friends and people who carry the spirit of greed and envy okay all right so let me just break that down what god wants me to do according to this spirit of greed and spirit of envy so what god was explaining to me over like over some time now and what I've experienced with dealing with people who've been greedy and dealing with people who've been envious, right? So anyways, besides that, God has taught me that people who are greedy um, and people who are envious, it doesn't matter if your family members with them. It, like, it doesn't matter if it's your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, um, it doesn't matter if it's your husband or your wife or someone that you're sleeping with, your lover. Um, it doesn't matter if it's your friends, people in your community, um, neighbors, whoever, just people in general, co-worker, like just anybody you know who is greedy and envious, God is telling me to warn you to stay away from them. The reason being because if someone's greedy it doesn't matter who you are to that person because greed consumes people that they'll kill their own children for greed. They'll kill their own wife. They'll kill their own husband. They'll kill their best friend for greed, for money, right? And envy does the same thing. So that's why they're so dangerous and also the spirits that come with greed. So... People who carry a greedy spirit, they also carry the spirit of selfishness, envy, jealousy, covetousness, and they seek to kill you, right? We already know with envy, envy seeks to kill you. So we're going to go to the scriptures that God wants me to read about it. Proverbs 1 and 19. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which takes away the life of the owners thereof. So Greedy people will kill you for money. It doesn't matter who they are to you. Your, if your mother is greedy, she would kill you for money. If your lover is greedy, they would kill you for money. If your child was greedy, that they would kill you for money. This is how sacrifices in families happen. Because somebody's greedy. Do you understand? So God wants you to take that. That's your family member. That's your lover. That's your best friend out of the way. Because when they're dealing with the spirit of greed, that they, they throw that out of the window. They seek to kill. All right? Just like envy. Envy doesn't care if it's your lover, your friend, your daughter, your child. It, it seeks to kill. Its ultimate end goal is to kill, right? And God wants you to know that about greedy people. And Proverbs 15 and 27. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house. But he that hates gifts shall live. So God wants you to know this is the part about the family. Someone who's greedy in your family, they trouble the people in their family. They're envious of the people in their family. They seek to kill the people in their family. They trouble the gains, the wealth, the riches, the money, the success and prosperity of people that are in their family. So say like, their children, their lover, their their niece, their nephew, their you understand? People who are greedy of gain, they trouble the members in their family. Distant relatives, close relatives, cousins, aunties, uncles. So that's what God wants you to know. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house. His own house means their own family. And that you should understand when somebody is dealing with the spirit of greed, that 
family, it doesn't matter if you're family because that's who they trouble. That's the people they trouble. All right, so in 1 Timothy 3 and 3, not given the wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Isaiah 56 and 11, yeah, they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. So it says they look to their own way, everyone from his corner. Isn't that being selfish? Well, that's what some people's family members and lovers do. They're looking to their own way. They're trying to get gain from for their self, thinking about themselves. And they would take out even their loved ones for that greed that they're carrying. Now, God also wants me to read these scriptures, so I'm going to do that. Um, Doctrine and Covenants, 68 and 25. And again... Inasmuch as parents have children in Zion or in any of her stakes which are organized that teach them not to understand the doctrine of repentance, faith in Christ, the Son of the living God, and the baptism of the gift of the Holy Spirit by the laying of hands when eight years old, the sin be upon the heads of the parents. So basically God wanted me to tell you that Parents are supposed to teach their children to repent and to have faith in Christ and the living God and to baptize with the Holy Spirit. And um, obviously, you know, your sins start when you're eight. Um, you're without sin. So your children from from their birth till, their seven, till they turn eight, they're without sin. They're innocent before God. But the time when they're zero to seven, you're supposed to be teaching them right from wrong good and evil um the love of god the love of christ and repentance for their sins all right because when they turn eight their sins count before god so if these parents never taught their children the commandments of god right and wrong those sins are going to be on the heads of the parents for this shall be a law unto the inhabitants of zion or in any of her stakes which are organized so the people who try to go to mount zion to live in new jerusalem or well, the daughter is Zion, you understand? They have to be organized in this, in repenting, teaching about Christ and the living God. All right? And their children shall be baptized for the remission of their sins when eight years old. Because your sins start when you're eight years old and receive the laying of the hands. And they shall also teach their children to pray and to walk uprightly before the Lord. And the inhabitants of Zion shall also observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That is what he wanted me to put in this video. But let me go back to the greed part. Um, I'm just going to read all the scriptures God wants me to read to you. I haven't done a video in over a month because he told me not to do one. Um, he didn't have. I said, do you want me to say anything to them? He said, no. Um, so there's a time to speak and there's a time to keep silent. He had me in a silent time with just him. So here it is. Doctrine and Covenants, chapter 56, verse 14. Behold, thus says the Lord unto my people, you have many things to do and to repent of. For behold, your sins have come up unto me and are not pardoned because you seek to counsel in your own ways. And your hearts are not satisfied, and you obey not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Woe unto you, rich men, that will not give your substance to the poor. For your riches will canker your souls, and this shall be your lamentation in the day of visitation, and of judgment and of indignation. The heavens is past, and the summer is ended, and my soul is not saved. Woe unto you, poor men, whose heart are not broken, whose spirits are not contrite, and whose bellies are not satisfied, and whose hands are not stayed from laying, laying hold upon other man's goods, 
whose eyes are full of greediness and who will not labor with your own hands. So that is what God wanted me to basically speak about. These people and their greed. I'm going to read this precept again. Doctrine and Covenants 56 and 17. Woe unto you poor men whose hearts are not broken, whose spirits are not contrite, and whose bellies are not satisfied, and whose hands are not stayed from laying hand upon other man's goods, whose eyes are full of greediness, and who will not labor with your own hands. That's Remember, the spirit of greed comes with covetousness. They're laying their hands upon other man's goods. But bless, God says, blessed are the poor, which are pure in heart, whose hearts are broken, and whose spirits are contrite, for they shall see the kingdom of God coming in power and great glory unto their deliverance, for the, fa for the fatness of the earth shall be theirs. So this is like their eyes are full of greediness, and they won't labor with their own hands. Being greedy is also envious. It comes with envy, it comes with jealousy, it comes on to lust to do evil things. Now, he covets greedily all the day. The spirit of greed comes with the spirit of coveting, covetousness. That's what I wanted you to know. It comes with envy, it comes with jealousy, it comes with covetousness, it comes with selfishness, it comes to with death because it seeks to kill you. They covet fields and take them by violence. They've coveted man's silver and gold or apparel. These things they're not supposed to do. They covet from their brother and sister. It tells you thou shall not covet somebody's property. Thou shall not covet thy own property. Eyes full of greediness. So these are the things that come with greed. But the warning in this message, what God is saying is, um, it doesn't matter who the person is to you. If they're carrying the spirit of envy and if they're carrying the spirit of greed, those people will seek to kill you because that's what comes with those spirits. And here is the last um, scriptures God wants me to read. I'm going to wrap up this video with this. Um, Doctrine and Covenants chapter 54 starting at verse 3. And if you, brethren, desire to escape their enemies, so God's saying, do you desire to escape your enemies? Well, this is what you got to do. And if you, brethren, desire to escape their enemies, let them repent of all their sins. So obviously this is, makes sense why he had me read about the children the children having to repent when they're eight years old and that their ch their parents need to be teaching them repentance. So this is the last scriptures he's having me end this video off with, with Doctrine and Covenants chapter 54, verse 13, finishing at verse 7. And if you, brethren, desire to escape their enemies, let them repent of all their sins and become truly humble before me and contrite. That's why I didn't you hear um, in the scriptures before that I read, God convicted the poor people who didn't have a contrite heart will want to you poor men whose heart are not broken, whose spirits are not contrite, and whose bellies are not satisfied, and whose hands are not stayed from laying hold upon other man's goods, whose eyes are full of greediness. But we know Christ has a contrite heart, so we're supposed to have a contrite heart. So here, go. we're going to go back here. And... And if you, brethren, desire to escape their enemies, let them repent of all their sins and become truly humble before me and contrite. And as the covenant which they made unto me has been broken, even so it has become void and of none effect. And woe to him by whom this offense comes, for it had been better for him that he had been drowned in the depth of the sea. But blessed are they who have kept the covenant and observed the commandments, for they shall obtain mercy. So we are required to observe God's commandments, just like we're required to teach our children God's commandments, so we could obtain mercy from God. Wherefore, go ye now 
and flee <clears throat> flee the land lest your enemies come upon you and take your journey and appoint whom you will to be your leader and to pay monies for that's with the church right that doesn't have nothing to do with what god is saying right now all right this is about this about greed what he's talking about with greed and these are the scriptures yeah so basically people need to be humble before god and repent and to remove greed from them and the warning is to stay away from people who carry the spirit of greed and the spirit of envy because they trouble the people who are closest to them greedy people trouble the people who are closest for them for gain the lover someone you're sleeping with just it's just really not good so beautiful people stay blessed um and um oh another thing i wanted to talk to you about sometimes when you leave comments i'm not seeing these comments for like months later i don't know what's going on with this you know social media whatever but try to like make a comment on my most recent videos if you're trying to ask me a question or something that way i'll see it because sometimes i'm seeing like comments that are popping up from like seven eight months ago and i'm like it it, it, it didn't show up on the video but um stay safe